it. Lisa. Yes? I want to ask you some questions. No, Lisa. I want to talk to you. You remember when you were a little girl? No, 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 no. No. You remember when you were a little girl and lived in Versailles? Headache? Do you get a lot of them? Lisa, do you remember your mother at all? It's all right, Lisa. No, Lisa, it's all right. Lisa, it's all right, I tell you. Lisa, it's all... Now watch the ball. One, two, This is the special, ah. the real old Calvados. Mmm, <sighs> yes. Ah, oh, it's worth coming to Honfleur just for that. <laughs> you sure you have all the evidence you need? Yes, enough to get him six years. I am indebted to you, Jaminet. Very lucky that you were able to identify this fellow so quickly. Oh, we don't get so many summer visitors that we can't remember their faces the rest of the year. <laughs> well, I must go. Mm -hmm. You'll be off back to Paris then. Oh, yes, the morning train and I'll fail. Another case? No, my wife's birthday. <laughs> Well, uh, thanks again for your cooperation. Hello, mademoiselle. It's me again. Well, what progress are we making with my call to Paris? I am afraid there's a little delay, monsieur. 
Well, could you use that charming voice of yours to expedite the matter? All right, I'll hold on. You wanted me? You're the detective, aren't you, from Paris? One of them, yes. One is enough. I've been trying to catch up with you this last hour. If it's about the smuggling case, we have all the evidence we need. I'm not talking about that swindler. Sit down. Uh... Sit down. I can't keep looking up at you. <laughs> and put this down. Caught two days ago, the <laughs> pair of you. Now, I want you to do something about the corpse in the judge's house. The what? That's given you a shake. Which judge? Folacroix, he calls himself. He's got a dead man there, upstairs. He's been dead since Monday night. How do you know? We've seen it. Who is we? My husband and I. Tuesday morning, Justin was up a ladder pruning the apple tree. He could see through the first floor windows quite plainly, and there was this body on the floor. It's gone now, of course. <laughs> From his bedroom, that is. He moved it. We've been watching through binoculars. Oh, oh binoculars. <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? Stop him, what else? He's going to throw it in the river tonight at 10 to 11. So what makes you think he'll do that? It's obvious. The quayside is near his house. It'll be carried out to sea and he'll be rid of it. Why at 10 to 11? Because he has got to wait for the high tide. Yesterday, it was too early. It was still light. He couldn't do it then. Tonight is just right. That's why he's moved the body downstairs. Ready. <laughs> Tomorrow, without fail. We're finished here. I was just thinking about Saturday night and the tickets. Tickets? The theatre tickets. But you hadn't forgotten, had you? For forgotten? No, no, no. Of course I hadn't forgotten. Look, you get the tickets and I'll be there. Yes, definitely. Well, everything's all tied up here. We'll leave it... Uh, we're leaving in the morning. Nothing to stop me. Petro, allow me to present Madame Didine Gulo, an expert on tides. Crayfish and murder. Nothing. Jules? Jules? Uh, no. No, nothing uh, short of murder. Inspector Vigre? I am Just Angulo. That's the house. Over there. Look. What time is it? Only quarter two. And you better go home. Any minute now, you'll see. See anything? The gates. Hmm? The gates.
are you? Chief Inspector Maigret. Inspector Maigret? Ah, well. Perhaps it's all for the best. Would you care to come back to the house? Oh. I suppose we'd better bring this back, too. Luca, allow me to judge. Oh, that's very kind of you. Oh, be careful of your coat. That sex had coal in it. Well, shall we go? I have no idea. Oh, do take your coat off. I think we shall be more comfortable in here. I should have thought you'd be in Paris, Monsieur Maigret. Well, I came down here yesterday. Oh, well, I keep very much to myself, you know. I don't always know everything that goes on. Now, what will you drink? Brandy? It was very lucky for me, running into you like that. Imagine the difficulty I should have had trying to explain myself to the locals. Uh, you say that you don't know him, hmm? No, didn't know him from Adam. Now, I should like your opinion of this Armagnac. Why did you kill him, then? Eh? Kill him? I didn't kill him. Why should I kill him? I never saw him before in my life. Your good health, Inspector. Where do you want him? Oh, not in here, please. This carpet shows every mark. Tell Guido, I told him later. Right. Tell him not to talk. Good. Are there any servants here? No, not living in. Anything to identify? Not yet. Look at that. Made in Panama. That's going to make it nice and simple. What was he... What are you doing upstairs? Upstairs? Oh, I see you've been talking to Didi Ngulo. She seems to know more than I do about what goes on in this house. Who is there besides you? Oh, only my daughter. Oh, Lisa knows nothing about it. She never left her room. You mean last night? Hmm? Oh, neither last night nor tonight. How do you know? They weren't here tonight. Oh, well, uh, because, um, well, I usually keep her door locked at night. She's liable to wander about. It, it was on Tuesday morning. I went upstairs. There he was. A perfect stranger with a fractured skull. Where upstairs? Oh, in the uh, 
Well, in the passage. Why haven't you reported this? Oh, but you must see it would be disastrous if I had to go to prison. What's going on here? Who is it? My son. I thought you said no one else lived in this. He lives on the other side of the town. Perhaps you would be good enough to explain what's happened. Who's this? What is Guru doing here? Well, who is this anyway? My God, Lisa. Where's Lisa, his sister? Oh. Come on. What is it, Albert? Are you right, Lisa? Yes. He's gone. Who was it? I've got a pretty good idea. Good evening, Papa. Good evening, my dear. This will want a new lock in the morning. There was somebody here, wasn't there? Who was it? Myself. Where do you think you're going? Fishing. What exactly is wrong with your sister? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with anybody. Only him. Why is her room kept locked? You better ask him that. She'd be all right if she was left to live a normal life, but he can't leave anybody alone. He drove my mother mad till she was forced to kill herself to get away from him. Just a moment. Look, wouldn't it do later? I can't afford to miss this tide. I've got work to do. All right. Go and do it. Found lots of these in odd corners of the bathroom. Glass? Looks like it. Hmm. Marcel! I've just come from my father's house. The police are there. What do they know? They know you were in her room last night. She told them. I'd better go to the police. I wouldn't, the less they know the better for everyone. I should clear out and keep them guessing. But if I clear out... You'd better be quick. One of them followed me. Is there anything else the Chief Inspector will require? Oh, I shouldn't think so, thanks. Hello. Yes, Monsieur. Uh, the Chief Inspector. Ah, thank you. Uh, Bertrand? Yeah. Anything come through on Marcel yet? Uh, not yet. The whole local force is looking for him. He probably headed straight out across the estuary. What's the other side? A place called Maras. Pretty bleak, marshes and small holdings. I've alerted the police there. All right, I'll see you in half an hour. Have you uh, finished up there? Yes, monsieur. Is it all over? Yes.
Go up to your room, my dear. Miss Lisa is going up to her room, Estelle. Yes, monsieur. How long has she been like this? Since she was 16. That's why I left Versailles. Your son suggested that... He's the... not my son. Monsieur? His father could be any of a... Oh, please forgive me. Do sit down. His father could be any of a dozen creatures. Dago from a dance band, an American soldier, a scruffy so-called painter. At least, thank God, he's not mine. And Lisa? I don't know. I feel very close to Lisa, but that proves nothing. What medical advice have you taken for him? My one dread is that she'll pass on the taint from mother to daughter, daughter to... You would not permit her to marry? No. No, no, that, that's impossible. It's quite out of the question. And the uh, upstairs window? I suppose it is your duty to probe. You see, when she suffers, I suffer. I keep close watch on all who come here. I suppose they imagine me ignorant of it. So long as they're decent, clean living, I... You see, there's so much she can never have. It's not humanly possible to impose total denial. I see. You also see why I concealed the body. If I were arrested and she were left alone, it would be... You said it would be disastrous. Yes. I dislike the abuse of words. What will you drink, Inspector? She plays well, don't you think? Policeman, it's out of season. Well, no one else at all? Well, there was a man who came in on Monday and said he'd be back to dinner, but he never came. That's him. But why does he look like that? Because he's dead. Hmm. Ah, on. The soul's good. They may have the soul. He was here last Monday. I heard. There he is. <sighs> what have you heard from Marcel? Marcel? Yeah. You know he's planning to run away, isn't you? Me? Why? Certain old lady tells me that you know all about Marcel. Oh, that one. Her tongue will fall out one day. How should I know what Marcel's doing? <laughs> I must say, Madame Gould has got them all taped. Anything uh, new on the first one of them? Yes, deceased was well nourished and was killed by a blow from the front with a blunt instrument. To wit, one jar of joyeuse. Joyeuse? Mm. Bath salts. Beside the. Um, Glass splinters, they found crystals of sodium phosphate perfumed with jasmine. Bath salt. He was killed in the girls' bathroom. Mm. Anybody else recognize it? A bus conductor remembers he got off here, but can't for the life of him remember he got where he got on. He only had three passengers. Remembers the other two perfectly. But this one... yes, it's for you. Hello? Yes? Oh, it's you. Yes, he's... He's here now. Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, nobody said anything about it. I can't. I've got to go. Mademoiselle? 
It's me again. Can you tell me where that call came from that you just put through here? Thank you very much. Yeah. Marcel has just phoned from the uh, Café Arthur in Maras. <coughs> if he's quick, you'll catch him. Right. <coughs> This isn't what I ordered. What have you done to him? Nothing yet. You think you're very clever, don't you? He was going to marry me. He was. I knew she'd only get him into trouble. What did he ask you on the phone just now? He said, find out if there was a paper in the dead man's pocket. I see. Was there? He's innocent. He's got nothing to do with that lot. He was after Lisa. You don't suppose he'd have married her, do you? Why not? Because I wouldn't have let him. I told him that last Monday at the judge's house. Mm. You just try it, I told him. I'll turn up at church and I'll kick up such a stick you'll never live it down. At the judge's house last Monday? Yes, I said. Not in the house. Outside. Outside, in the street. Mm. I heard. supposed to do about the theater tickets listen if we can clear this up by tomorrow I can still make it what are the chances of winding up here in 24 hours with the cops still not identified and the chief suspect missing under the one against <sighs> about 50 50 yeah, well I'll do my best huh? bye bye <laughs> funny it says here the deceased had eaten a full-scale meal of fish in the course of the evening now he didn't come back to the hotel to eat so who fed him Okay. Who? Oh. Nant. Oh, yes, put him through. Yes, Monsieur. Yeah. Oh, I see. Good. Good. Yes. Right, thank you very much. Nant police, recognize the photograph. Oh, who was he? A Dr. Mandel. Bachelor, he's about 50. Special interest in psychiatry. Why did he buy his clothes in Panama? He used to be a ship's doctor. Ah. <clears throat> Hello. Mademoiselle. Megory. Yes, I want Nant again. The, the police state. I'm, what? I'm sorry, monsieur. It may take a little time. This is a very small exchange. Yes, I, yes, yes, yes. I know it's only a small exchange. Yes, but what you can't know, monsieur, is that I value single-handed. Uh, single-handed? Do you know, you have been so efficient that I would never have guessed it. Now, if you can keep it up for another 24 hours, I'm going to buy you a box of chocolates. We're not allowed to accept rents from subscribers, and in any case, I'm not very fond of chocolates. Oh, well, uh, Marron Glacé. Hmm? <laughs> very kind, <laughs> Not at all, not at all. Now, since you're there, could you get me the police at Nantes? Thank you, Mademoiselle. Did you get Marcel? He left the cafe by the time they got there. Uh, There's no sign of him since. Well, uh, what now? Well, you might try his mother. She might know where he is. You think she'd tell me? Oh, scare it out of her, Luca. Ah, uh, well, she's probably frightened out of her wits already, poor old soul. Mm. All right, I'll hold on. What's that? By hand, uh, from Judge Fallacroix. Mm. Uh -huh. Do you know where Marcel did his military service? In the Navy, most likely. Do you think you could find out what ship? Yes, I'll do that. Good. What do you say? The judge wants you to go around and see him. He wants to confess to the murder. sure what the procedure would be but I have settled all my affairs I shall be quite ready to leave whenever you require but 
I would be grateful if you would let me stay until after Lisa has gone. She'll be leaving within half an hour. Lisa is going? Uh, yes, I've arranged for her to go into a nursing home. That is, until I can come back and look after her again. It's a very good nursing home. Still don't know who the man was? No, I'm sorry. I've told you all I know. I heard Lisa scream. I found him in her room, and when I asked him to leave, he refused. Well, you spoke to him, then? Uh, yes, well, just for a few moments. He was most insolent. I'm afraid I lost my temper. I didn't know you spoke German. Oh, well, just a little. I managed to make myself under... That was a trap, wasn't it? Was he German? We don't know, monsieur. But you see, neither do you. What makes you think Lisa did it? Lisa? Come, come, monsieur. He was a much younger man than you. Stronger and heavier. You could never have killed him. Certainly not from the front. The truth of the matter is that you would rather see Lisa in a hospital than facing a murder trial. Isn't that it? What you are doing now could take you to the guillotine. There's no one else that you'd lay down your life for. Is there? I'm ready, Papa. Yes, sir. Did you ever see this man? Yes. He came to my room. Who brought him? Nobody. What did he say to you? He had a watch. He was looking at his watch. As if he was in a hurry? No. Like, like this. Mercy. Did you hit him? Hit him? The gentlemen are here, monsieur. We're going now, Lisa. Yes, Papa. I'll get my bag. You should have done this years ago. I was warned she'd get worse. Tried not to believe it. I just wanted to keep her near me as long as I could. Without treatment? They can't treat it. I know. I was her mother, too, you see. It's called dementia precox. There are many forms. That was 30 years ago. It's called something else now. It's sometimes curable. Not when it's gone as far as... Murder? Lisa never killed anyone in her life. Ah, so he served in the good ship in 102. Hey, thank you, Germany. Did you find Marcel's mother? Oh, did I? Poor old soul, eh? Oh, what is she like? Oh, hard as nails. Pans every move. Sent for a lawyer at the dock of the hat. Does she? Indeed she does. I found this in one of Marcel's jackets. A hotel bill. Mm-hmm. We spent a night at Nantes, huh? Ten days ago. And Mondel came from Nantes. What's the connection? Plenty. See, he served in the good ship 102. Oh. Mondel was the ship's doctor. Why should Marcel want to see him now? Medical checkup? Or for himself? How about a check on Lise to see if it's uh, safe to marry her? Hmm. I take this woman to be my wedded wife. Subject to a satisfactory medical report. Doesn't sound like a man in love. No, but it's like Marcel's mother. Yeah. I've got to get back to my rabbits. Huh? Oh, did he? Good. I'm sorry, you uh, you wanted to see me. I've you? got something to show you. It concerns Albert. I was collecting Did he, dandelions I'm for Very, very busy just now. Oh, when have I ever wasted it's your Dr. time? Dr. Mandel, he would have had a maid or a receptionist, huh? Eh? 
Try and get it down here. Hmm? Come on, I'll late as so long as I don't miss that. Well, time. have right. I? You're a fat lot of use, you are. Go but on, Gideon. We've got to get back to your rabbits. Oh, <laughs> Albert Marcel. Albert's going. And I think I know where. Keep an eye on Marcel. I'll send a man to relieve you as soon as I can. On guard, Didine. On guard. I don't know when he'll be back. Ah, here he is. How about you? You looking for me? Yes, I, uh, I wanted to have a word with you. Oh, right. Come in here. I shan't, uh, shan't give me a few moments. Superintendent. to uh, talk to you about Marcel. Ah, I thought you might. Sit down. <coughs> Cigarette? He's been a uh, very good friend to you, isn't he? More the best. You're worried, naturally. Well, I... I wish he hadn't run off like that. It right. looks bad. That was a mistake. Well, I suppose you know he's planning to marry your sister. Oh, yes, I knew that. It's all right with me. Mm -hmm. How about your father? Oh, he's insanely possessive about Lisa. He's even tried to spread the idea she's not right in her head. But he'd have had to let her marry in the end. And uh, Marcel's mother? <laughs> Got him like that. But she was coming round, or so I heard. She wanted reassuring, I suppose, after all these stories she's been hearing about Lisa. Lisa's all right. She just needs to lead a normal life. Look, she's as sane as you or me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all this leading to anyway. Well, to Marcel, I'm afraid. You see, we found out that the dead man is a psychiatrist and that Marcel paid him a visit in Nantes ten days ago. We also know that Marcel was seen outside the judge's house on the night of the murder. You mean Marcel took this doctor fellow to see Lisa? Mm, to get her a clean bill of health, I suppose. But suppose the doctor refused. What would Marcel do then? He could have lost his temper. He was always quick to fly into a rage. I shouldn't be surprised if that's how it happened. You see, the trouble is, we're stuck. Uh, until we can find Marcel and get him to talk. I suppose you wouldn't have any idea where he might be. <laughs> no. Uh... Come in, Jaminé. You! You get out of that one. Nothing. Not a blind word. Not if you grill him from now until next week. Not a blind word. Take him outside. Sit down, Marcel. Uh, 
Hallo. Mademoiselle, die Hotel du Pont. Nee. Wir hatten die Food. Du Pont, Luca. Aha, there's this girl, the uh, receptionist from Dr. Mandel. She's come yet. Oh. Well, when she does, bring her. Oh, yes, we'll all be here. All night, by the look of it. Uh, wait, wait. There's something I want you to do for me. I want you to get me a kilo box of marron glacé. Huh? Yeah. Where? I don't know. Anywhere. Steal them. No, Marcel. This way, mademoiselle. Dr. Mondale's receptionist. Ah, all the way from Nantes. How nice of you to come. Now, we won't keep you long. I just wanted you to see if you could identify a young man who might have paid a visit to the doctor one day last week. Oh, yes, monsieur. I recognized him at once. But well, you can only see the back of his head. Well, I mean the one out there on the bench. Not this one. Oh, him, too. They came together. I see. Thanks. Hmm. Is that all, monsieur? All huh? this was just for that? Yes, yes. Uh, see the superintendent. Sit him outside with Albert. I'm tired of the silent service. All right, Hanson, come on. Come on, come on. Make yourself at home outside. I haven't been all day. Here's the one. So Albert went with it or not? That was very friendly of him. Mm, oh, yes. Albert's been a great friend to Marcel. There's nothing he won't do for him. Fixes him up with his own sister. Promises him that he'll inherit the house and all the money. <laughs> that would please Mother. Oh, yeah. Even persuades the doctor to come and examine Lisa in secret. Now, that's the one point that doesn't fix in this, in this picture. That? Well, I mean, Mongdell was getting on. I can't imagine him shinning up a drain pipe. You wouldn't have to if Albert was there already to meet him, showing the way. Albert? Albert. Safe because he knows that his friend Marcel would be roasted alive before he gave away the girl he loved. Of course, he ran away to cover up for her. Yeah. He must have known it'd be like signing a confession. <laughs> Confessions, we cluttered up with them. The judge's <laughs> confession. <coughs> I wonder. Uh, Go back in there. You were right, Albert. He's too tough for me. Why are you keeping me here? Bring him in. Me. You, you All right, can't you me here. It's, it's, it's false pretenses, that's what it is. He told me that... You said that Lisa did it. You see, Albert, you can talk. Look at your father. Look, look at that. Your father. What are you talking about? He knew. He knew all the time. Ah. Well, he must have done. He was there. He went in with the doctor. He, he used his own key. And they left me waiting in the street, and he came out. He said Mondo was dead. He said Lisa had got violent and killed him. But you knew it was your father. Why did you lie? I didn't. It was true. So Lisa killed him. <sighs> yes. I was trying to protect her. The fact is, I'll admit it to you, the honest truth is, she's out of her mind. Mm -hmm. She wasn't responsible. You told me you, you swore that you, you... So Lisa did it. Yes, that's right. And uh, cleaned up the mess afterwards, hmm? And pull the body out onto the landing. They're very cunning, you know. Yeah, and frightened, Elvia. That's why you killed Dr. Mandel. He confirmed what you'd always feared about your sister. 
that she had inherited your mother's mental sickness. And if it were true about her, what about you, Albert? What about you? Hmm? You were frightened, Albert, weren't you? You hit him with the first thing that came to hand. to die in Paris. Go on, we got a train to catch. Taxi waiting downstairs. When you went away, you said it was just a routine job. Oh, well, we had to clear that up in a couple of hours. But then somebody had to go and find a corpse. Oh, I just changed my tie. Huh? Well, I'll find it for you. I put your blue silk one in. I thought you were never coming. Here you it know, is. it's a funny thing. But I've still got a strange feeling that there's something down there that I forgot. I can't think what it is. Uh. Oh, Jules, you shouldn't have. Hmm? Marron Glacé. Ah, that was it. That was what? Uh, that was what I thought you would like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, come on, baby. No time for that. The curtain's going up in a minute. Wait a minute. Come on, come on. 